Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a video that I've been anticipating for the past four months. I've been on university holidays since the 7th of November when I moved out of the halls. So I've been in Hamilton since like the 5th of January I think. Pretty much full time, so that was like it's March 1st today. So pretty much two months I've been in Hamilton waiting for this day to come so that I can go back to university and have something to do with myself. Over the summer holidays, I didn't get a job because I wanted to be able to spend time with family and like go away if my family were going away and spend time with them over Christmas. So I decided just, while I was in a position to not have to work, I wouldn't work. Which is great, it meant to go spend a lot of time with my family, but it also meant that I got very bored. So I'm just excited to have something to do. With saying that though, I did get a job. Not gonna say where, but I have now got a job, which is, a bit of a financial relief. It's nothing exciting, but I'm just happy to have a job. So anyway, what this video is about. Well, it's currently 10 past three and I have a class today from four till six. So it is Monday. It is Monday the 1st of March. It is the first day of the first trimester back at uni and I have a class today from four till six. I'm about to head over to uni because I have to drive there. I also have to drop off a package at the post office and then I also have to make it to my class and like find where it is and like meet people and anyway. So I'm going to leave very shortly. All the other girls in the flat have all been to uni this morning and two of them are still there but two of them have come home already. I kind of woke up this morning and reality kind of hit and I was like I have done nothing to organise myself for this day over the past four months. So I spent the morning organising myself doing a bit of admin. Not going to try filming class because I explained this last year. A student tried to film like a Snapchat video to send to their friends in one of my lectures. And the lecturer saw them and then called them out and was like hey what are you doing? Don't do that. And I was like okay. Last time I spoke to you was before I went to class. I've been to class. I'm now home. The class went for the full two hours, which I wasn't super happy about. But anyway, I'm home now. And Rachel cooked dinner. I made dinner for the very first time. Come on. <laughs> you sound like Everly, you know, in the LeBrant fam thing. She's like, let's roll. I made mince. This is the pasta. And cheese. Look at that. Does it look good? Yeah, it does actually. Are you ready for dinner? I'm really hungry, yeah. Because I made it for you to come home to. Where is Morgan? Dinner. But there's her veggie mints and I laid this out for her so she can have this and that. I don't know how to cook that. <laughs> but we got dinner! I'm going to dish up the dinner that I made. Insert time lapse. We're going to say grace since it's all the Christian girls at the table. Hey, praying hands, ladies. Dear Lord, please bless this food and my man nourish us and bring us brain food to do well in our day. Wait, wait, wait. I pray that it doesn't bring us food poisoning either. Me too. Okay. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> To Kmart. That's all she wrote. Hello, guys. We are at Countdown. We've come over to get the set up a Countdown because Tay is back there. She's going to Kmart, but and we're getting some supplies for dinner for the week. Bloomfield will be proud. Bloomfield will be proud. We're going to sign in if I can find my app. Yes. Awesome. Also guys, I feel like everyone's surprised when I show this, but if you oh, don't have the so countdown tough. app, people don't know this, you put in your shopping list and you put in your supermarket and it tells you what aisle to look so in. And then if you go like locate, it'll tell you all the different options for that certain product you want. Alrighty, we have got the groceries. This is like Morgan and Danny and I's snacks plus stuff for dinner for the week. I know it looks like a lot, it kind of is, but we went through self checkout because they're literally like in the store, they're like closing in 20 minutes, literally. like literally sprinting around the supermarket no, trying to like get everything race. together. The poor mum, <laughs> if she's watching this, I feel like she may have known who I was. If you're watching this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> We were trying to bag it up our stuff, and since there was no actual checkout, so we had to go through self checkout with more than 15 items or whatever it is. And every time we put something in the bagging area, we'd be like, please place your item in the bagging area. Like and so every, she, every time, time she had to come and scan her little car. That's so bad. So I'm so sorry if you're watching this. We we're just outside trees. Kmart waiting for Taya and Danny. Danny's running to go burn and she's gone to find Taya too, because we bought Taya's car, so we can't get in the car to put groceries in there. But And yeah. Awesome, there's people coming. I'm going to turn this off now. 
Good morning guys. It's currently just past nine o'clock. So I woke up at quarter past seven this morning, had a shower, washed my hair because I realized I hadn't done that since the 660 concert on Saturday, which is kind of gross because everyone's like vaping and stuff. I had breakfast, Morgan, Rachel and Taya have all gone to uni for pretty much the day. I don't have a class today until midday. So I have a class from 12 till two. Yeah, I've just sat down and read the Bible and then I'm just gonna do like a bit of like reading and stuff. I feel like this is the one thing that I wasn't prepared for at university was the amount of reading you have to do. I'm not a huge fan of reading, especially like university readings is really academic stuff so it's quite heavy to read so you're like reading it and then you're like what did I just read sort of type thing so but I've been sitting here pulling oh that's a little bit rocky. I'm sitting here planning out this is my diary I'm using at the moment. I've spoken on Instagram it's from St. Balfour which is a small business in Melbourne in Australia. Currently planning out my week. I actually am pretty thrilled to have something to fill my day with because I was yeah, it wasn't really good for my mental health not doing anything with my days for the past four months, especially the last month has been really hard. I haven't really spoken about it, it's because I think it's been a little bit hormonal, so I mean, I don't really know, but anyway, it's not been that fun, but I'm okay. So I'm just going to do some readings and stuff and just try and stay on task. I think I've, to, I've sold some of my textbooks from last year because there's like a textbook selling page for our university on, on Facebook so I think I'm meeting people at uni just for my class today at 12. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for lunch though because 12 to 2 is a really awkward time I either have to have lunch. I think I might have something a little before and then something a little after so I don't like ruin my dinner. It's 20 past 11 and I have finished two of the three readings I had to do for the marketing class I had last night. It was a little bit boring but I've decided because our final assignment for this class we have to write a like 2,000 word report on one of the readings that we've read during the semester so I was like okay I can't really skimp out on the readings because I should actually read them so that's what I've done and I've written notes down just so when I come back to writing the report it makes it a little bit easier also Kendall came over if you guys have been around here for a while you know who Kendall is she did my makeup for the ball last year so she came around because I bought one of the textbooks off her because she's a year ahead of me doing the same course as me so hello guys I'm back Hi. home Morgan's here. We are studying. It's three o'clock now. I got home at like half past one because my class finished early, which is awesome. So I met someone at uni, gave them a textbook, and then went and inquired at the bookshop. Now this is a whole story. I went to the bookshop at uni because they have like a place where you can buy textbooks. I have this one textbook I need for one of my marketing papers this semester and it's a brand new paper. So there's no secondhand textbooks like anywhere in the university. So I have to buy brand new. I inquired at the bookshop and it was $275 for a book. So anyway, I was like, no, 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 no. That's a little bit pricey. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But I've just bought the textbook from the Nile, which is a New Zealand store. And it's going to take like a couple weeks to come. But she got... But I got it for 210 instead of 275 I rang my mum on the way home from uni and told her, hoping she'd give me some money, but she didn't, so... <laughs> Grossor's theory, transaction cost theory and utility theory. They also identify 10 theories as pivotal theories in marketing based on the linkage capital. Theories with the most number of non-redundant links with other theories in the data set. Adaptation level theory, agency theory, attribution theory, economic theory. Oh, hi. Good I morning. Just doing out here. <laughs> getting ready. Wednesday, guys. We've got morning classes. It is Wednesday, morning. my dude. Okay, oh, this is my room. This is Rachel's room as well. Oh, yeah. Well, You'll see the rest of it in the house tour. I have a class today from 9 to 11. Then I'm going to come home and I work from 1 to 5. Love that for me. So, we're going to go and have a good day. We're at uni. We carpooled today because we have the same classes, same time. Not the same classes, but... Different classes, same time. Yeah. 1 to 11, and I'm dropping off a textbook to someone today after class as well. And then we're going to go shopping for more Oh, it's Morgan's birthday tomorrow, so... She's not going to see this, right? We're, she's not going to see this before we post, before her birthday tomorrow. So, we've bought her an Udi and a necklace with, like, her name on it. And the necklace with her name on it has been a bit of a mish, because Rachel... You know you're wearing yours. No, I'm not wearing mine. Rachel all. has one. And it's from a shop called Acquisitions. So there's one at the base and there's one in Tauranga where Rachel's from. Rachel got her some Tauranga, but she went to the shop at the base and asked for them. They didn't have any. So she's like, okay, all good. So I'm going home this week and I'll get one. So she got one. And then the other day when you were at uni, I was sitting next to Morgan on the couch and she's like, oh my gosh, I really want this necklace. It's like got like my name on it or like my birthday or like, like my date of like, Something like yeah, personal. Something personal anyway. And I was like, she was like, I was like trying online. to talk her out of it, but like without being like, we got you one. 
So she has no idea we got her one, and so she's been talking to her mum about her mum getting her one, and like, and so I had to message her mum and say, please don't get it because we've already got it. But like, yeah, and we just realised this morning that we haven't sorted a cake or anything. So we're gonna do some shopping. We're gonna do afterwards. some shopping after class because she's at uni all day today. So it means you can go home. Except I have to be back at work at one, but. We'll have like a couple hours today. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah. Is there any chance your class will finish early? Probably. Okay, sweet, me too. Hey guys, we're back from class and we're being little secret squirrels in my room at the moment because we are wrapping up Morgan's present. So we'll show you what we got here. We got an Udi. Some Lindor chocolates. This is the necklace we're talking about. All right, now come with me to my bathroom. This is the cupboard in my bathroom. It's, it's got towels and stuff. Anyway, this is Morgan's cake. And then we got some candles and some pretty colored balloons and a two and a zero for her 20th. Hello guys, I just got home from work. It's like five o'clock and we have a visitor. Olive! This is our neighbor's cat. Is Kitty. cat. Olive, this is Morgan. <laughs> My new child. Look how cute. This is um funny story, our neighbours are actually called Morgan and Emma. And this is Morgan's cat. But this not this Morgan. Morgan's cat. <laughs> I'm just, just wanted to update, update update you on my life. I just had a mental breakdown. But I've come out of it. Happy. Emma helped me. Morgan has just gone to a dance class in Huntley. She's away for like two hours. So we're gonna start blowing up balloons. I don't know if she's at the house yet. supposed to be in the car going to work at this time but instead I'm in the car going to get a COVID test this is not the turn we thought this vlog was gonna take but it has so last night I developed a little bit of like a sore throat shortness of breath sore ch like tight chest and I always had a sore back for the last know, six months but the pain when I woke up this morning was just different it's like oh, oh it's something else it's something else let me tell you last time I had a test back in August last year I was positive that it was gonna be a negative result I was like this is just a cold and flu everyone else has it at the moment it's gonna be fine and it was it was a negative test but I still got the test just to make sure this time I, I don't know I don't know having been at the concert on the weekend that was Four, five days ago now. I don't know. I did have work this morning and I didn't go. I felt so bad calling my boss this morning at like 7 a.m. being like, hey, this is what's happening. I can come in and wear a face mask if you really want me to, but that's obviously not ideal. And he's like, no, don't worry about it. I have no classes today for uni, by the way, so I'm not missing out on anything today. But tomorrow I have a class, a two hour class from 10 to 12. So it's unlikely I'll be able to go to that. I'm also going to try to film the actual test for you guys because last time I had a test, I chicken down didn't actually record the test taking place all right i'm here so and i'm just waiting in the queue there's not too many cars it's literally probably only, only going to take about 20 minutes it says no photos or filming past this point without permission so i guess that i will see you guys afterwards Alrighty, folks we're done my <laughs> nose is so sore after that that was i feel like that was more sore than last one i got last year but it was good had a fat chat with the lady about my runaway girl earrings it was quite good love a good wholesome chat last time i was told to isolate myself and that might have been because i was living at the halls this time 
they just said to stay home. I don't want to say where I work just because of privacy reasons, but where I'm working, because I work where I work, I am an essential worker, so I therefore do get like a priority sort of thing. So my results will come back by tomorrow, which is awesome. Not TED Talk, but this is my little spiel, is that if you had the symptoms, don't go to work, don't go to school, to stay home, go get a test, wait for the results, and then go from there. What are you what are you it is 23 minutes past 7 and I have not spoken to you guys since I got home from my test. So I got home, chilled out, literally edited this week's video pretty much all up, all my rest of the morning till like 2 or 3 o'clock. But I'm on dinner tonight. <laughs> Check the COVID patient on dinner. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have COVID. I feel actually feel fine now. So since I'm on dinner tonight, I was gonna film me doing it, but that didn't happen. But I will show you guys what I made. I think this is a family recipe. I asked my mum to send me the recipe the other day because it's like a one that she makes all the time at home. And she was at my nana's at the time, like her mum. And so she sent me the recipe out of my nana's cookbook, like the original recipe. And I was like, you know when a recipe is well used and has like all the watermarks and like the food on the page? It was like that, and I'd like dictate it. So I came up with this, I'm hoping that this is what it actually said, but if you want to screenshot this and try it out, that's the recipe. Obviously we do have a couple of vegetarians in the house, so I took out the bacon for their ones. But Morgan's actually out tonight because it is her birthday, so her parents and her brother came over and they're out for dinner, which is really cute. But this is how we're going, it's got like maybe 5-10 more minutes left. That is the normal one, and then these are a couple of vegetarian ones that I made up. I boiled some potatoes, and now I'm frying them to make little, like, chippies. All right, we got there. Dinner's served. I put the chips in these little, like, I don't know. Mum had them at home. I think she probably came out, like, years ago. So I took them, and they're at the flat now, and now I'm using them. But, yeah, Danny's got hers in the vegetarian thing, and then the girls, and then me, with our cute salads and sauces. Dinner's ready. Okay. Dinner's ready. I'll leave you guys to it. All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Morgan. Happy birthday to you. We love like our candles and the Woo! COVID, COVID friendly. How did John get in? Oh, no. When Tyler was there, when Tyler would come back, was there. Meet you guys. That was terrifying. Emma, would you like to recap what just happened? With me going crying. Let me just explain. So we're sitting at the dining table eating this lovely cake that Morgan's mother made for us. And then we hear a knock on our ranch slider. We bolt it down the hallway. And I, I kind of knew my head was going to be the boys. And then we ran down the hallway. And I checked snap maps and sure enough they were at our house. And so... I went back to the front, came back to the lounge, went back to the front door, the front door was wide open and then Joel comes running past me like exiting the house, I don't know how he got in, <laughs> and he had our corn silver side in his hand, they literally stole our corn silver side, we look out the window, Joel's car's parked up, they jump in the car while it's moving and drive off down the street, and all of our neighbours are coming out of their houses to make sure we're okay because we're all screaming because we thought someone was breaking into our house. I, I bet you it's Owen, saw the cone outside, fell over on the floor trying to Looney Tunes run away from it. Got back up, turned and saw Joel in the fridge, beef silver side in hand, and immediately hit the floor again. Good morning guys, it is 9.28 and I literally just got a text to say that I tested negative. So that's really exciting. I ended up fake tanning last night, as you can see, looking a little bit bronzed up. But I need to head to class, I have a class at 10 o'clock, so I'm going to go over there now to uni and then... I'm also going to call and see if they want me to come into work this afternoon since I couldn't work yesterday morning. I'm going to see if they want me to fill in this afternoon. Don't know if they will, but if not, I won't be home till 5 o'clock, so. Back exactly where I was before and it is time to go to work. My lecture finished like 40 minutes early, so I came home, had some lunch. It's like 10 past 12, so I'm going to head back to work now to start 12.30ish. The lecture was really good. It was actually really interesting. It was on marketing, analytics, and insights which is probably more like I've decided is more like where I want to go with marketing. I got called out in front of the whole lecture. There probably been like I don't know maybe a hundred people in the room and she asked everyone a question. No one answered and I was sitting front and center so she looks at me and she goes you there with the MacBook with two stickers on it. What's your name? I'm like Eva. She's like can you ask this question for me? And I was like Eva the question was like what is marketing analytics? So I just had to like come up with something but 
little bit nerve-wracking, but it's okay. We made it. Off to work. I don't have a uniform, so this is what I wear. Just this skirt, which I also have in black. Zana Mitty skirt from Princess Polly in this top, which is also from Princess Polly. Look at the balloons! Hello guys, I'm home from work! But it's now like quarter to six. The boys are actually cooking us dinner tonight. Boys being... Wait, you should, you should vlog that. Should I vlog it? Okay. Right, hold on, stay there, stay there. You're an eyelash. Here's Olive. Look! <gasps> oh. So cute. Oh. oh my gosh, can you do that again? Wait. That was really cute. Can you do it again? Look at his eyes, they're so cool. So you guys, at dinner time, because what I was trying to say, Jong, Joel, and Owen are cooking for us. Hey, no, no, that's not a cat. Emma and her child. Emma, are you okay? I got all this. Hello guys, it's now Saturday, so I want to close off the vlog here. I did get like a tiny clip of my phone last night of what the boys produced for us for dinner. It was actually really good. They made it up pretty much on the spot. It was like udon noodles and stir fry veggies and chicken and egg for the vegetarians. And potatoes. It was pretty good. Not gonna lie, they did well. Didn't get food poisoned, so that's great. But anyway, we are on a little girl's trip today, which I will be vlogging. So if that does end up being enough footage for a vlog, that'll be what you see after this video. But apart from that, stay safe, stay well. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a very good first week bag. A few hiccups, but a very good first week bag. I'll see you guys in my next video. That's like yeah. Yeah. I can hear the little click noise on the vlog. <laughs> Just wanted to update, 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 yay for mental breakdown. Okay. Little, oh. Nice view of your butthole.